What up, everybody? It's your boy Flacco, and tonight we have a very cool looking beer. It's from the Adelbert's Brewery. I think they're a local one, too. I'm not sure exactly. Um, let's see. Yep, brewed and bottled in Austin, Texas. Right there. All right, it says serve at a 45 to 55 degrees. And it says use a tulip glass. I don't have a tulip one, but the closest I have is this wine glass, so that'll have to do. Let's see. And it says this bottle, this is batch number 15, bottle 12 for 2014. So about three years old, this bottle here. And it is a black rhino, a rare beast. Handcrafted Belgian style black ale. Not sure what the shelf life on this stuff is supposed to be, but it's in a fancy bottle, so I'm guessing you can age it. it says Black Rhino is an earthy ale with hints of coffee and coca that pours a dark, I mean, that pours as dark as the name we gave it. Don't let the name fool you. The surprisingly, I mean, this dark ale is surprisingly smooth and easy to drink. It pairs well with salty appetizers, bold, musky cheeses, and wild game dishes. So, cheeses and wild game. So, anything you're hunting. It says the story behind it. Named in honor of the rare black rhino that Dell would hunt during the photo safaris in Kenya. So I guess Dale is one of the guys from this thing. This black beauty is a truly a sight to behold. So that's pretty much it, man. Cool little label on it, bam. This bottle here. They don't play. They don't play. It's gonna pop like a champagne top. But let's go ahead and move this out of the way so we're safe and it doesn't break my shit. Cause don't like broken shit. I hope I don't hit the camera either, guys. So, the safety's been removed. And I don't know if there's a safe way to open this. Sorry, Mr. Crazy, I'm gonna bust in my face. There we go. Woo! All right. Let's go ahead and give this vessel a quick wash. I'll be right back. You can check out the bar, see what you like. All right. Smells freaking delicious already. All right, here we go. If you'll join me in raising what your glasses on with whatever you're sipping tonight. Let's go ahead and pour this first piece down here. Wow! Look at that. Look at that, folks. Talk about carbonation, man. This thing is medium to heavy. I'd say heavy more. Carbonated. Got a nice little finger head on it. Really black, but it does have a little brownish, reddish hue on it that you can see at the bottom and at the top of the glass. The middle's pretty solid. Middle's pretty solid dark. Um, just an all-around beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dark beer. Uh, was a, a black rhino, a Belgian-style black ale. Not a Bach black ale. Bam! Very carbonated. I can still see the bubbles, the car bubbles coming up from the top of the bottle here. I'm very excited to try this one, man. For eleven, what did I say, eleven dollars? For eleven nine nine. Twelve dollars and probably thirteen with tax. Better be a good fucking beer. 
All right, let's give it a smell here. It has a sweet smell, almost like a sangria. It tastes like a sangria, I mean it smells like a sangria. Um, you do get the roasted notes. But they're, they're almost hoppy, almost cit a citrusy. Very, it smells, it smells acidic. It smells roasted. It smells like sangria. It smells very delicious. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get a little info on this. Nothing on an IBU, but coming in at a whopping 5.6% alcohol by volume. I'm trying to put the lid on this thing. Whatever, sorry guys. Back to the review. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beer here, one pint, 4.9 ounces. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Cheers, guys. A little tartness. Light roasted notes. Smooth, not creamy, very dry, light espresso, light coffee, light tart, light citrus. It's got a lot going on, man. It's got the remembrance of a Bach, but it's not a Bach. It's a little sweet. Very enjoyable, very enjoyable. My little brother would probably like this one. He's in the box and he likes sangria every now and then. This one right here, man, it's fucking good. My girl would probably like this one. It's dark and heavy. People, let me remind you, please do not get scared of the dark and heavy. Don't do it. Could still be light and flavor like this. This is flavorful, but not enough to scare you. There's a damn fruit fly flying around in here. I'm trying to get to my damn drink. So I tried to cover up that bottle earlier, but it didn't work. See if I got some bottle stoppers in here somewhere. And I do. Plug that bad boy back up. Bam. And she's plugged up, and I can store it for a later time. Drink that up later on, probably later when my brother gets here. Watch the uh, football game going to come out. I think it's Redskins tonight. If you guys have been checking me out, checking out the channel, um, you know we've been checking out a lot more breweries. Uh, we went and did St. Elmo the other day. We went and did 512. Uh, we didn't kind of did 512. We didn't really do 512 yet. But we're going to do that. Um, I talked to homeboy James there. He works there. And he said we should get together sometime this week. He hit me up on the Instagram. So if you want to get a hold of me, guys, hit me up on the Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, anything. Holler at me, and I will holler back at you for real. Um, he he uh, hit me up this week on the Instagram and told me that we should go do some beers, some testing on the beer, some tasting. And I said, fuck it, let's do it. I'm down. So we're going to do that, and then we'll probably actually get another one with we're sitting down with people. I don't know. We're in the works with that, so i got to figure that out, how we're going to go about that. i got to see what fits in with my boy Chino's schedule. Because for those types of ones, when we actually have like a sit-down interview type of thing, I'm going to be on the high definition. I mean, this is cool. You know, the camera's cool because it lets me do them real quick. But for the, for the future videos, when we're in the breweries and the beer reviews, they're going to start being high def, man. High def only. But uh, so far, we've been having really good luck. Um, St. Elmo Brewing Company told me to hit up their people to come back because they can uh, sit down and maybe we can do an in-depth analysis on a beer review. Maybe get a flight of beers and do that one. So St. Elmo said yes, uh, 512 said yes, Live Oak said they don't do tours and filming and whatnot, I don't know. I saw them do one on YouTube one time, but I guess I'm not big enough yet. Uh, but they said no tours yet, 
but I'm more than welcome to come in there and film and do whatever I want to do. I can sit down and talk to somebody right there. So I'm more than welcome to do that. So no hate on them. I respect the fact that they don't want to do no damn tour because, I mean, shit, honestly, if I had a brewery too, I probably wouldn't want to be giving out tours left and right. I don't know. That's just me. I respect that. They were really cool people while I was there, so I don't knock them. Uh, so 512, Live Oak, uh, St. Elmo Brewing Company. There's still the South Austin Brewing Company that's right across the street from the St. Elmo that we're going to go do. Check that one out too. Uh, we're going to recap on uh, Independence Brewing Company. See, I'm trying to revisit the last five or the breweries, the five breweries that are here around me uh, before I do my move because it sucks. I've been living here all my damn life and did, uh, did not know there's fucking four or five breweries right here within a five mile radius of my house. So All I knew about Independence, I knew about that one, but I didn't know about any other ones. Now where I'm moving to, there's only one fucking brewery and it's like... 15 minutes down the road, 20 minutes down the road, so that will suck, uh, but we come every other weekend back in Austin anyway to see the family and get haircuts and whatnot, so I'll still be probably checking them out, popping in and having a beer there when I come back into town, but just because I'm moving does not mean we won't be getting, we'll still be getting beer reviews, we'll still be getting trips, we'll still be getting fishing trips, we're getting a lot more, man, the channel's getting a lot bigger. Reaching out to a lot more people, a lot more people are viewing my stuff, a lot more people are liking it. I do need some new subscribers though, man. Come on, hit me up on the subscribers, bro. Hit me up on the subscribers. I had a list. I keep saying I have a list. I have a list, man, of everybody's freaking name. But as always, I misplaced it. And I printed it out like five times at work because I wanted to read them off. I wanted to give you guys shout outs, you know. Uh, so shouts out to you, man. And if you're in Austin and you watch my shit, Holla at me, dude. If you see me sometime around one of these bars or whatnot or picking up some beer at a corner store, holla at me, man. Shit, I'll, I'll do a quick little video with you and we'll put you on one of these things, man. For sure. But for this one here, this Black Rhino, for it being three years old, delicious. I kind of want to know what it tastes like at its prime, you know? I want to know what it tastes like at its prime, but this aged well. That must have been that was sitting on the shelf three years, man, and it fucking tastes phenomenal. And I kind of picked the right glass for this one, I guess, because it's almost like sipping a fine wine, and you appreciate this one. You know what? I'll be honest with you guys, Adelberts. I've had uh, another one of their brews before. I've had the Philosophizer. It's a Saison that they make. Incredible Saison, dude. Got him. Missed him. Missed the damn fruit fly. Incredible Saison that they make. This one, it does not surprise me that this one is very fucking good itself. Um, at a 9 out of a t I mean a 10 from this thing, I would go and blah, blah, blah. 1 to 10 out of this thing, I would give it a 9. Straight up. And it's been aged 3 years. But I'll give it a 9 because it is fucking phenomenally good. Like, I can sip this shit all day. It's, I don't know, man. It's dark enough for me to enjoy and not, you know, <clears throat> not be disappointed when they say dark or black. But it's light enough for one of my homies that sip just regular elves to enjoy too, man. If you like uh, Shinerbach and shit, you probably like this one. A little bit, little bit heavier than a Shinerbach, but it's got those characteristics that make you appreciate it. And you know what? To be honest, this one wouldn't be bad for either someone that wanted to try stouts for the first time either. This is not a stout, but it does have light roasted notes that can get you gradually there, that can develop your palate to that next level, you know? You don't just go rushed into Imperial Stouts. You don't do that because you're not going to like it. You're going to psych yourself out. It's going to be fucked. You're going to be fucked, you know? You work yourself up there. You'll go ahead and start out with the darker L, then go ahead and hit a Bach, then hit a double Bach, then you go in with like a like a coffee ale. After the coffee ale, you'll graduate into a little regular milk stout or 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 cream stout. You know, something light, a little frothy, a little fluffy. Then you hit a regular uh, a stout. Then you go imperial. Then you go fucking whiskey aged arrow, man. But you can't just go and jump at imperial or whiskey aged and just say I didn't like it. No wonder you didn't, no shit you didn't like it. You're fucking not used to that type of shit, you know? You gotta let yourself grow on these type of things, man. I mean, I, when I first started pot messing with these beers and stuff, didn't know shit. Didn't like shit but that that everybody else liked. Dos Equis, Bud Light, you know, 
just the regular beers, man. Paps, Lone Star, all that, all the regular shit, all the lagers, man. But then I discovered craft beer, and my world changed. So. Trouble Brewing Studio, man, we've been talking. We're going to probably click up, link up soon. Maybe do a little collab video or maybe just hang out and drink some beers, whatever. Doesn't matter. Anybody else, any of you other YouTubers want to hit me up, man, hit me up. We can collab. We can get together. We can chop it up. I love meeting new people, man. Um, Trouble Brewing Studios, the bros there, man, they're freaking awesome, cool people, man. Talk to them on uh, Facebook Messenger all the time. Uh, and they, uh, they also share my videos, too, which I really do appreciate guys I really do appreciate that anybody that shares my video man thank you straight up thank you uh, you're helping me out a lot bam and if you want to write me write me man I'll write you back send you Flacco stickers I uh, made a little bit of these Flacco shot glass testers here so I'll send a few of those out too man if you want one just hit me up on the messenger I'll be more than happy to send you one you know free of charge just my blessing to you whatever but I appreciate you guys sipping with me, man. We're going to go ahead and give this a 9. This Black Rhino Belgian-style Black Ale. Delicious by the Albert uh, Adult... Oh, no, I don't know why I've been having trouble speaking lately. Uh, the Adalbert's Brewing Company in Austin, Texas, my man. And it is 5.6 alcohol by volume. Again, best served, 45 to 55 uh, degrees Celsius. It says, please keep upright. Don't store this bottle sitting down. Black Rhino was an earthy ale, blah, 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 and it gives a story. Visit for more info at adelberts.com. So, bam, if you want to check these guys out, man, I do recommend you checking them out. I think I paid a little much for the bottle. To be honest, I've seen Adelberts so cheaper somewhere else, probably like eight, nine bucks. But, you know, for the convenience of where I was buying it at, fuck it, you know. Uh, we also did get some more beers to try out. I'm very excited for another one that's coming up, man. So be sure to check out the channel, man. It'll probably be up tomorrow if I do the review tonight. If not, then you... Whatever. But I appreciate you guys sipping with me. Please stay tuned. Keep checking me out. I will take more trips. We will do more things. Do more fishing, man. Uh, share, 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 share. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you've ever experienced this beer before, or if you... Tell me what you think it might taste like. If you had it before, what was your experience with it? Where did you have it at? Leave a comment below, man. I'd love to hear from you. It's your boy Flacco giving this a Delbert's Black Rhino IPA. I mean, sorry, Black Rhino Belgian. So why the hell I'm on IPA, see? I'm all over the place. I think buying this house got me mixed up or something, but. Cheers. The move's almost over. Coming in at a nine. 5.6% alcohol by volume. Flacco's beer reviews. Appreciate you guys sipping with me. I'm out.